Hey, what's up, guys? How are you guys doing? Bring you guys a little uh, story that I actually found on uh, on Facebook here from my local radio station. It's actually about this guy. He's a 23 year old guy that uh, he was deployed over to Afghanistan, and well, he had a dog, and he left his dog with his former girlfriend. Now I don't know if while he got deployed, it was his current girlfriend, or if they were already broken up. The thing is that he left his dog with her you know to take care of and while he was gone she was having trouble taking care of him of the dog so she decided to uh, sell the dog on I think it was Craigslist I'm almost sure it was Craigslist I'll go ahead and link you guys to the to the story but she didn't tell nobody that she was gonna sell the dog uh, the guy's family uh, knew or she had told the family that he was ha that she was having trouble taking care of the dog but she never arranged a date or time of when to uh, return the dog she just sold it online now it does not say how much money she got for the dog but she did sell it over to a family now when he was over there deployed he found out uh, that his ex-girlfriend has sold his dog and he was trying to get it back so he put a note on Craigslist saying hey I want my dog back uh, whoever bought him please let me know who you are it's my dog you know he, he told his story well apparently I guess a fa uh, they somehow the mom of the of the soldier found out which family it was sold to and she went over there and let them know hey uh, it's my son's dog we want him back we'll pay you for him but the family did not want to give the dog back because their children had gotten attached to the dog which is understandable but also the lady of the of uh, the mom of the soldier said well you know what my son is also is also my child and he is also attached to the dog and I mean I understand both sides it's kind of messed up I mean if, if if you're uh, a dad or a mom and you just bought a dog from Craigslist and your kids get attached now it, d it doesn't say how long they have the dog but I do see that it's kind of messed up but yet again you gotta have to respect that over a uh, some stupid broad or some stupid lady uh, or I don't know teenager or whatever she was I don't I don't know who you know, it doesn't say the age of the of the girl, of the ex-girlfriend that sold the dog. Just because of her dumb actions trying to get some money, um, you know, at the end, everybody starts losing. And it's not fair for nobody. Not the people that bought the dog or the soldier that actually, you know, pretty much it's like if they're stealing your dog. They're taking your dog away and you put it over, you know, you, you give that dog, you... <sighs> what I'm trying to say you trust that person with your dog um, yet again the story doesn't it just says former girlfriend doesn't say if they were going out and then they broke up or if they were already broken up and he trusted her enough with his dog now after that I guess somebody on Facebook found out I don't it, it says it on, on the story but they made a a no and got uh, a no not a no but a Facebook page to help the guy get his dog back by raising money which it says fourteen hundred bucks you know um, just to pay off the family so they could give the dog back and somehow it doesn't say exactly if that family got paid that money but the parents of both sides the soldiers and the people who just bought the dog um, made an arrangement and he got his dog back now for me it's just very unfair for both sides and I think it should be kind of like a I don't want to take it too far but for me it's kind of like a criminal act you know it's like if somebody pretty much is stealing from your home or I don't know something like that like if they're taking something away from you they're robbing you or something they sh it, they should file like a police report against you know against her or for her to get sued somehow I don't know but I think she needs to be disciplined in a way because you don't do that no matter what 
um, it's just fucked up. You can't you can't do that to nobody. Uh, I can't imagine. You know, I'm I know. I mean, I've only had my pup since what maybe February, but he's seven months now. And I can't imagine just you know me if I was in that guy's place, being the soldier, and you know give my dog over to my girlfriend or ex-girlfriend because I trust her with him and she ends up selling him or her, or her and you know that sucks because in reality either she was trying to do it for payback for maybe something I don't know maybe the guy maybe the guy's not a, a angel also right I do respect him because he's a soldier but yet again we don't know both both sides of the story but no matter what if you're in possession of the dog and uh, the owner um, gave you that responsibility and trusted you enough and you agreed to it, there is no right for you to do that. Now, of course, I'd probably do the same thing of what he did, try to do my best to get my dog back. And Of course, I mean, I don't think my, my parents would... I, it's not that they wouldn't help me, it's just I don't think they would know exactly what to do. Luckily, I mean, just... I think every, all this came out of luck, you know, I mean, them finding the family that bought the dog and having the dog go, come back. And I do believe uh, the society for that, I forgot the race of the dog, but uh, the, res the rescue uh, program that they have for that breed of dog told the family that had bought the dog that they would find them a new dog, just the same race, everything, just maybe just a puppy you know give them a puppy and so I think that's a great idea that's an awesome idea for them to do and like that everybody wins the got the guy gets his dog back the family gets a brand new puppy which is the same race same everything and you know it's a win-win the only thing is that I do believe that girl has to be disciplined I don't know what way or form maybe put her name out there you know <laughs> get her on blast or something because that's not cool that's not cool she should be sued and she should return that money that she got for the dog to the guy to the soldier even if he got his dog back because she does not deserve that money it wasn't her dog at all so tell me you guys tell me you guys what you think leave a like leave a comment catch you guys next time peace